This is David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I'm here at my off-grid cabin and we're working on installing a solar system that's going to be taking up the this roof that's here that'll go over the top of these shipping containers. That's going to be about 22 feet wide and about 40 foot long. So I'm going to go through a little bit what we've been working on this weekend, including putting in this trench and building this, this roof here. Alright, well, thanks, and I'm going to add some uh, video here. And here I am with the trench that we are working on putting in. We are using our ditch witch to dig a trench from the solar panels. The solar panels are going to be connected and we're trenching that in over to our cabin where the solar equipment is going to be mounted. So we're going to have AC, DC as well as Ethernet run through here. So we're going to keep working on this and I will update. And I've put in two pieces of, two runs of conduit so far, and just about to put in a third. It's going to be a little bit shallow getting this third run in, but uh, it should be fine. I'll have some dirt over it and shouldn't need a cut through here while we've, after we put all this conduit in. so. This is going to allow us to be running AC power as well as DC power and Ethernet through here. So this is going to be pretty exciting to have this accomplished. So I'm going to work on finishing filling in this trench and try to get the rest of this conduit in before it gets too dark. I'll add some more here shortly. This is going to be the site for my big solar project. It's going to be a roof that comes up over the top of these panels. We're going to be putting some metal roof on the top of this and extending it up over there and walling in the side of the lean-to and mounting equipment on the inside of that. And then this trench here with this conduit in here I'm going to be pulling those wires up and mounting it to the equipment that will be on the back side of this wall. We've been working on putting that trench in as well as several other projects that we've been pushing down some trees and getting some land cleared here. So I'm going to add some video here for working on the trench and some other projects that we have. Okay, and this is the end of my update for today. I have been closing up the trench here with this conduit that's here. I'm a little bit short, I need a couple more pieces of conduit to extend it all the way out as long as these other two pieces so I have to grab another couple of pieces to get that finished and I'm gonna go ahead and rake all the rest of this dirt over the this conduit up to this area and next time I come up here I'm gonna bring a whole bunch of wire so I have some six, six gauge as well as some two gauge running through here, the six gauge for the solar panels, running back to the equipment that we're going to mount in the cabin, and the two gauge will be for the AC power coming back over here. We have some plugs mounted here on this wall that we're going to install here, across here, and we'll go ahead and get all that equipment set up and once we've got the roof finished, we'll run, put the pa panels up on this area here, 
And then we're going to run more roof further across the top of these shipping containers. And that should hopefully give me about 9 kilowatts worth of power. We've graded this area down. I've got kind of a, a dam here and sort of damming up the end of the valley here. And so we've been working on getting that installed and firming this dirt up a little bit right here. That's probably about three feet up from where we are right here. And we can close off the shutoff valves that are on the ends of the pipe that go under the dam and hopefully start to cache some water there and see how that works. So this has been my project for this weekend. I've also been working on installing LED light strips on the lean-to that's next to the shipping containers, which are adhesive strips like these, and tacking them to the end of the side of the wood, and that will be able to be powered off of the DC power. That's going to be coming back from the cabin, running DC power over here, which allows me to run the lights and other small things off the DC when the inverters are not on. Usually when I'm not here, I keep the inverters off. And so that'll give us some light here. I've installed some spotlights on the shipping containers there and one on the corner over there. And then there's another one of those spotlights on the fence post over there. That lets me get a little bit of light here and it lights this whole area up pretty good. I've got those controlled with one of these boxes which allows me to control DC powered equipment through the Wi-Fi. And so right now this is just a standalone solar system that is powering the equipment here in this area of the property and after we've gotten all the solar installed this will go away and the lights and everything over here will be powered off the DC coming from the cabin so this has been my update for this weekend and I've been using the skid steer to push around more dirt and we've made a ramp that goes up the hill and there's a property that uh, that I own further around the road that has a fallen down trailer that we've been clearing off and getting that ready to build a tiny home for some folks that need a place to live so I'm gonna go around and Take a look at that and add that video here shortly. And this is the site of the fallen down trailer here. We cleared this open a little bit yesterday and then started cutting down trees here to open it up where we could try to get to the trailer and start to clean it up and push it over and get things a little bit more organized and cleaned up here. This was a trailer that somebody had had up here and they moved out about 30 years ago and it's just fallen more and more into disrepair and just collapsing. There is Kind of interesting box over here that came off of the back of an old box truck that would be interesting to move and try to do something with this old box here.
kind of looks like something you'd set outside of an antique shop but it's been here for a while and dirt's been washing down the hill and it's somewhat buried in the dirt so I don't know if we're able to get it out of here but it'd be a kind of interesting thing to bury underground and let that be a like a storm shelter or something if that was buried underground but we're clearing, clearing all this up hoping to make it so that we have room to build a little tiny house here a mini barn that folks can live in there's a little stream that runs along here that it's got water in it when it, after it's rained good so looking at potentially clearing all of this out and cutting down these trees and building a house sort of right here against the back of this this ditch here there's a kind of neat bicycle grown into the, these trees. This has been how long this site's been abandoned. This bicycle just sort of trapped inside of this, this tree here. Kind of interesting feature. And The people that used to live here 30 or 40 years ago installed a, a spring here. They cut back into the side of the hill here and beat a pipe into the ground and water would come out of there. have to get in here and clear all this out and see if we can get the water flowing a little bit better and potentially being able to pump that up and use that to be a water supply for uh, the cabin we're looking at building here. There's a concrete structure down there that hopefully we can pull that open and see what's inside and see if we can't get this cleared out and get some water flowing. Up there on that bridge up there is a church pit that's been cleared back. And there's a little clearing that you can walk out and look down the valley here. So it's kind of neat to be able to stand here and see the, the next site up the hill so this is one of the projects we're working on getting all this mess cleared up and get this area cleaned out where we can actually build something in this little nook of land right here potentially uh, rent this rent a building out or provide it to some folks that are needing a house to live in so well, thanks for watching my latest updates to my channel with my growing projects on my solar projects and the work we're doing here to clean out this, this site here. Hopefully this will be a lot, a lot nicer here shortly and where we can actually have that, that mess gone. So. Once again, this has been David, Mr. DIY Solar in Tennessee Valley Solar. Thanks for watching and subscribe for updates. Hopefully we'll soon enough have this building built and be able to have it solar powered for this house here. So thanks and hope to catch you next time.